Hey guys, Nick from KN Tech, welcome back. Well, today I'm gonna to be doing a little bit more modification around my desk area and my studio area. So what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm actually gonna be making a mount for my main camera, which is the one that I'm filming this on, which is a Canon M6 Mark II. I'm gonna be making a mount for this so I can actually mount it behind the main screens of my main computer, which is behind me. So what I'll be doing is I'll be hooking this up to the computer and allowing me to use this when I do any kind of Zoom calls or video calls on that main computer over there behind me. Come along guys, let's see how it turns out. So those of you that are familiar with my channel and those of you that have been around here a little while and seen a few of my videos, you'll actually know the rig that I'm filming on right now. This was the rig that I actually made as a top-down and a face-to-face -face camera for when I'm doing things like unboxings and builds and that kind of thing. Let me show you what it looks like real quick. So this is the actual camera that I'm talking to you on right now. And this is the M6 Mark II and I've got this attached to a, a, what used to be an old monitor arm. And right up along the top there, I've got the modified monitor arm that I actually created so that I can do some top-down filming as well. If you guys haven't seen the video of me making this, I'll stick a link to that in the top right corner right now. What I have in front of me here is a Bontec monitor arm. Uh, this is exactly the same as the one that I used to build the rig that I'm filming on, the one that I put a link for up in the top corner a few moments ago. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make some modifications to this, and I'm gonna allow it to actually mount um, my main camera, which means I'm going to do a little bit of tweaking to the arm and a little bit of minor modifications. This is probably on a skill level of kind of two or three out of ten. It's nothing too serious, so it's something that you know you don't have to be very experienced in to maybe give it a go. Okay, so like I said, what we have here is the Bontec video, uh, the Bontec monitor arm, and this is the upright which get, which mounts to the desk, uh, and this is the actual uh, monitor arm that normally mounts vertically to the actual um, the upright. And what this normally has on the end of it is it has this kind of little thing here, which is where we end up putting the, if I can just grab it. So what we have is this little part that goes on the end here. This is normally attached to it. And this is where we put the base amount. And this is where we actually mount the, uh, where we actually mount the monitor to the base amount. And this then hooks onto there and that then all slides onto the vertical arm here. What I've done is I've taken the base amount off uh, and I've also taken the end uh, piece off when you can see it's just a single, uh, a single Allen bolt on the bottom which slides that out. Um, and what I've done is I've actually um, drilled out one of these holes. You'll see these two holes on the end here when you take the monitor mount on, the uh, monitor mount uh, element off. But what I've done is I've actually drilled this hole out slightly. You can see if I hold it up to the camera. Uh, and that's just to allow me to get one of these small uh, 5 8 thread um, camera mount screws through the end of the arm. Um, which is going to allow me to do something uh, very shortly, which I'm going to show you. But it's, it's literally, I only enlarged it by like maybe a mil and a half, something like that, just so that I can get it through. And if you look from the bottom, you can actually get through with a screwdriver in there to actually tighten it up from the bottom. So that's what we've got originally. That's what came with the monitor arm. What didn't come with the monitor arm is this. Now this is actually uh, a tripod extension. Um, and this actually would screw onto the top of a tripod and it would actually allow you to maybe make it a little bit taller if you wanted to film um, from a little from slightly higher up. Uh, so that's actually gonna mount on the end of here. And in order to be able to mount the camera on the end of this, uh, which again is the 5 8 thread here, what I've got here is um, I've got the small rig ball head, uh, which you can see right here. Um, and again, I've featured that in one of my previous videos. Uh, I'll stick a link to all these things down in the description below. And what's gonna happen is this is gonna attach onto that. This is gonna attach onto the end of the pole like that. That's gonna then, the arm's gonna then attach onto the pole. And then we're gonna have a, a nice steady filming platform that we can then clamp to the back of our desk, either behind our monitors or between our monitors if we've got more than one of them so that we can actually shoot kind of through the gap in the middle. Um, and then what that's gonna allow us to do is have a nice steady filming platform. And then we can mount this camera, the one I'm looking, talking to you at right now, we can mount that on top of that and then we can use that as our webcam uh, for video conferencing and that kind of thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna assemble all this on the desk right here in front of me. Um, and then hopefully what I'll, have, what I'll do is I'll be able to mount this arm on this desk where I'm sitting and I'll grab this camera and I'll actually have a little tour around and we can see actually how it all hangs together. So I'm gonna actually do this in real time right here. It won't take me more than a couple of minutes. So uh, I'll stick a little bit of music on. Stick around guys and uh, yeah, we'll see how it turns out.
Yeah, that's the one thing I forgot to mention. This particular one, these uh, these little five eighths are actually a little bit long. So I've got a couple of little washers which I'm just going to put in between, which just means it's uh, it allows it to um, it just allows it to uh, bite into the thread a little better. Um, so I'm going to pop those on and uh, we'll have a go at this round too, right? So there you have it. That's really, really quite quick and simple. Uh, like I say, the hardest piece about doing this was actually taking this end clamp, this end piece off, this piece off right here, and actually drilling this out a little bit bigger. But again, if you've got a if you've got a power drill or a hand drill, that shouldn't take too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually now going to get this mounted onto onto this the actual desk mount. Um, uh, you can see actually on the top of this on the ball head uh, I've got here I've got one of these Ulanzi fast claws I use these all the all the time around in uh, in my uh, studio in my office here it just means I don't have to worry about screwing in the attachments from the tripods to the bottom of the cameras if I want to switch them around from one place to the other I've, you've seen them before I've actually I'll, again I'll put a link to those in the description below along with all of these parts here that you're going to need to be able to actually do this uh, modification yourself so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab this camera off here. I'm going to put this, uh, mount this up on this desk. I'm actually going to mount it where I'm going to use it. I will do that at the very end of the video so you'll see how it all sits behind the system. Um, but I'll put this all uh, on here uh, on this desk and so we can have a look at it and we can see how it looks. And then I'll actually get it mounted in place behind my main screens and then we can take a look and see how it looks. Okay, so again, guys, I'm going to actually do this real time um, just to show you how quick and simple it actually really is. Um, I'm not going to bother fast forwarding because it's only going to take like a minute or so if that. So here we have the actual monitor arm, the, the upright for the monitor arm. Uh, I'm just going to clamp it on the edge of the desk I'm using right here from my filming. Just so you can see uh, exactly how easy it is and how quick it is. So once we have this clamped on like so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the modified monitor arm that's actually got the, uh, the ball head on it and the fast claw, the Ulanzi fast claw. I'm actually going to attach this onto the arm like so, and I'm just going to get the Allen key. Actually, let's swing it around this side. It's probably going to make it a little easier for you guys to see. Um, and I'm just going to tighten this up real quick. And then I'm going to try something which I'm not even sure it's going to work, to be honest, but I'm going to give it a try. I'm actually going to move this camera that I'm filming on right now. Uh, I'm actually going to move it live whilst it's recording. Yeah, I know, it's crazy, right? I'm actually going to move this camera live while it's recording, and I'm going to film it using my phone. And hopefully you can see exactly how easy it is to pop this off of here and put it onto here and what kind of and how steady it actually is. So let's uh, let me see if I can get this lined up and let's give that a go. So hey, this could be uh, this could be fun, guys. Right. So let's uh, so let's see. Right. So this is the camera I'm recording you on right now, and you can see I'm actually filming it up right now. So let's give this a go and see if we can actually move this live whilst we're recording. Let's hope I don't drop anything. Right. Okay, so here we have the camera. And there we go. Here we can see it's now on the camera arm. It's now on that upright pole, which is attached to the camera arm, the monitor arm, I beg your pardon, and that's attached to the vertical mount, which you can see is attached to the edge of the desk right here. So that's how we go about making ourselves a nice stable filming platform. And we can see if I wobble the desk around, there's nothing happening. I'm actually tapping the desk right now. You can probably hear me doing it and it's not moving. So there we go. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it in over there behind my screens. 
and then uh, hopefully I'll be coming to you from that side of the room in a couple of short moments. And then I'll give you a quick video of how it all looks behind my uh, behind the monitors. Well, here we are guys. I've actually now got it set up on my main monitors, uh, or actually rather behind my main monitors. Uh, so that's actually where I was just doing the filming earlier on. You can see there, there's the mount that I had the uh, camera hooked up to. Um, so I've actually got it behind my um, monitors. I've actually got it behind the monitors. So I'm actually gonna give you a quick tour. I'm actually gonna see if I can uh, Use my, uh, use my phone to actually show you exactly how it looks behind and how it looks in front of for a start. So, so here you can see we can, uh, so this is the camera peeking above the, uh, the two 27 inch monitors I have here. I'm gonna actually maybe uh, see if I can turn this key light off, but I know it's fine to be right. So here we can see the camera and here we can see the ball mount. And if we come around the back of the monitors, we can see that goes down to the bottom of the camera arm to, uh, to the bottom of the uh, monitor arm. And that monitor arm actually comes underneath my main monitor arm, which is, the, which is this thing right here. So you can see it comes along the bottom and it goes into the vertical mount, which we have here set up, and that's uh, clamped down to the bottom of the desk. Um, I've used a couple of the little channels here for the cable management you can see under the bottom. Uh, it just makes it look a little bit tidier and uh, makes things a little neater when it comes to uh, when it comes to actually hiding up all your cables. So there you go guys, that's how I've gone about creating a nice stable filming platform so I can mount any camera, whether it be this, uh, this is the obviously the M6 Mark II, uh, or if you were going to use maybe a GoPro as your webcam for your system, as a lot of people have uh, sort of recommended doing. If you look on YouTube, there's a lot of people that say using a GoPro as a webcam is actually a really good idea. Um, so yeah, this is how I went about doing it. Uh, I'll put a link to the, in the description for all of the parts, including the monitor arm, uh, and all the parts you're gonna to need to actually build this. Uh, I'll stick a link in the description for the camera I'm using here as well, the M6 Mark II. You never know, somebody might wanna actually uh, take a look at it and, uh, and maybe stick it in their basket, who knows. They are affiliate links, if you do use them, I will get a small contribution. Doesn't affect the price you pay, and if you do, thank you very much, it helps support me here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it's given you the confidence maybe to give it a go. Like I say, it's not a really difficult uh, modification or build to actually do. It's probably like level, skill level, maybe two, three, four, maybe if you're, uh, if you're sort of finally useful with your hands, then you can give it a go. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to hit the bell notifications when I stick more videos up. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.